Hello there, it's the Archivist from TradingCardArchives.com, and I'm back to do just what should hopefully be a quick uh, recap video of this battle. Uh, the battle video ended up being about 40 minutes long, which was very long, uh, but as you see, we saw a lot of awesome cards. What's on the table here is actually only the hits, so this is just the non-base cards from uh, all those sets. Um, the base cards were were all kind of kicked out in round one, so that's all these cards. So in round one, we looked at all these, but they uh, are not, they're just base cards, so they, they didn't win. Um, but then these were the base, uh, sorry, the hits. And uh, yeah, before I go through the winners and everything, though, I need to open up, I'm gonna start with Chrome cards, because uh, like I said, every video today, we're gonna be opening one of these packs, uh, just because I have a lot to get through, we need to get through them all. Um, so yeah, we're going to open this first, and then we'll talk about what's on the table here. And this should be a quick, quick recap, right? I don't, I don't, don't plan to spend a ton of time on this. Oh man, okay, sorry. <laughs> I need to cut. Oh, drop my scissors. Right. Sorry, it's just a uh, amateur hour over here at the archive. Dropping stuff, throwing things, and then cards. Not a good day. Okay, here we go. Sorry, no, we're, we're doing just fine. Uh, we've looked at a lot of cards already today, too. A 81 cards in this battle, and then all these as well. So here we have the Mandalorian. I actually don't think I have that one. That's nice. Oh, cool. A uh, Grogu moniker. That's a moniker I don't have yet. That's awesome. And then Shmi. Cool. So I think that's actually two I don't have, and a, a new moniker, so very good pack. I'll sleeve those uh, later. Let's first talk about what, what's on the board here. And why don't we start by going through the winners? Okay, so here is... And I'm, this is actually a runner-up. I don't usually have a runner-up, but I couldn't get rid of Batman. So here is our number one card. It's a Hero Battle LR Rarity. LR is uh, one of the highest rarities you can get. There's like MR above it, but LR is very good. Uh, and they all have this really cool line art with stamped uh, foil outlining and you know some cool red there. And this, this is just a great quantum suit Iron Man. So yeah, lo love this card. And Hero Battles a TCG, so there's nothing on the back. But that's our first place. So that is our winner. Out of everything, that one. Uh, and that came from the starter kit. Uh, so the starter kit has these fat packs in it. Uh, I have two left, actually, these, these packs like this. And those packs uh, have 12 cards in them, and they're guaranteed to have an LR. So that was great. And then our second place card here is King Shark from the Suicide Squad movie. And uh, just a cute, cute card. That's pretty much why it uh, it why it's one here. I guess it's got kind of a mark on it, but that's OK. But yeah, so that's, uh, what was, that's third place. I have these out of order, sorry. And then here's a beautiful Michelle Pfeiffer uh, Catwoman from the second Batman movie, the second Tim Burton Batman movie. And it's not, it's an H, so it's not really a high rarity card, but it looks awesome. Like, I just love the way her eyes light up. And Anyway, so that's our second place card. And then, like I said, runner up here is Flashpoint Batman, which comes from the uh, hero uh, NFT cards. So this is actually an NFT on the back if you scan it into the app, uh, but the actual trading card looks great too. So that is a runner up. And then just going through some of these really quickly because we already looked at them all, but I, I know some people only watch the recap. Um, so Loki here was our third place card during after the first round. This comes from the Kuyo bootleg set, these three cards. So these are the three hits from the pack, if you believe that they're not very good. Let's see what we got over here. Sorry, everything got a little messed up, but I'll just go through the pack as fast as I can. Uh, so this is an SSR Green Goblin. That was the winner for a long, long time. It's a beautiful card with some great etching work. And this is uh, one of maybe Psylocke? I, I don't remember. But also just excellent etching work on that, so I love that card too. And then these come from Kamon. So this is a uh, Kamon set. These are not hero battle cards. They're trading cards with information on the back. This Ant-Man was the winner of round one. And then these are also hits. So this is a base card. These are hits from that set. 
Over here we have some more hero battle cards. A lot of hero. We had five different sets of hero battle. So there's an SSR Doctor Strange that was on the board for a while. SR Doctor Strange and SR Black Panther, of course. And then here we have some other hits from the hero set. So this was uh, Kryptonite Man Possesses Batman. That's actually just a base card, but I kept it because uh, it's it looks cool. And then this was uh, Hawkman's logo, so it comes with logo cards. And it was technically a hit, although it's not much of a hit to me. Put it there. And then here's an Iron Man, uh, sorry, War Machine uh, SR, looking pretty good. And let's let's look at this pile. And we've got an SSR Scarlet Witch. Great etching work with cracked ice in the etched foil. I love that. And then these SRs all came out of that starter pack. So when you buy the starter kit, you get a lot of great cards. You know, the LR, the SSR, and then five SRs in one pack. That's pretty nice. Uh, then these were the Marvel Annual hits. So these are Western cards by Upper Deck. And this this is a blue wave, a uh, blue parallel. Um, not not that rare, uh, one in two packs, I think. And then this is a annual impact insert. Again, not that rare, one in ten packs, I think, but still interesting card to get. Look then at, so you saw those two came out of the DCEU bootleg sets. These also came out of the sets, um, but they're even lower rarity, so I didn't include them as winners. This is an F and this is F, so F is the lowest rarity you can get in that set. And this, these are Fleer Ultra cards. So that pack was interesting. I had never opened one of those before. Uh, all of this is in one pack. And you can see the regular cards are like 100 point thickness. They're such thick cards. And then you get like one regular card. So I got a Baron Zemo. Maybe that's the rarest card. I have no idea. But that that's the regular card from that set. This was an artist spotlight uh insert and this hulk i think it's a green parallel i'm not sure some others from there they look great right they've got i think this is all original art for this uh release but uh yeah none of them won so there and then yeah that's it so we've looked at everything now uh, so again there's our winners um, and there's the uh runners up sort of and all the rest of them it was a fun battle we got a lot of cards uh, which is okay because i'm caught up on scanning now so i can open up a lot more cards but yeah that that ends cards and coffee uh, ends it pretty late today but it was a big battle it took a long time to film and, and get everything done uh, hopefully you enjoyed uh enjoyed it and enjoyed the recap if you like the recap go watch the full battle because you get to see every single card uh, and i'm gonna go eat some lunch and then set up uh, for more filming see you soon